Egypt's first elected president, Mohamed Morsi, is found guilty of breaking out of jail and sentenced to death. Mohamed Morsi is the Muslim Brotherhood, now banned by Egypt, calls the court's decision politically motivated. It says executing Morsi would be murder and the international community should stop it. Morsi was imprisoned with other Muslim Brotherhood leaders a few days after Egyptians began a movement that eventually overthrew President Hosni Mubarak in 2011. In 2012, Morsi became the country's first elected president. Almost immediately, he began a series of controversial decisions, expanding his own presidential powers. In January 2013, the two-year anniversary of the start of the revolt against former President Hosni Mubarak, hundreds of thousands demonstrate in Cairo's Tahrir Square against Morsi. Fighting erupts and marks the start of months of protests. Demands grow for Morsi to step down. In July, just a year after his inauguration, Morsi is overthrown by the chief of the military, Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, who's now the president. On Saturday, Morsi appears in court wearing the blue uniform given to convicts. The court sentences 122 people. Many are given the death penalty, including the former leader of the Muslim Brotherhood, Muhammad Badi, and a popular scholar, Yusuf Khabawi. Several Palestinians are sentenced as well, including some prisoners in Israeli jails. Mass convictions and sentencing have become common since the military takeover. The mass death sentences being customary in the Egyptian courts during the last two years, but in this specific case, there are many legal grounds to refute. For example, the judiciary itself, the court itself, is unconstitutional. And also, many other things, like this testimony given by the former chief of staff during the trial of former President Mubarak, in which he negated all the allegations about Hamas crossing over the uh, the, uh, the borders and breaking free the prisoners. Yechaya is referring to a leaked audio recording by the former Egyptian chief of staff, Sami Annan. In the leak, aired by a pro-Muslim Brotherhood network on Friday, Annan denies there was any border crossing by members of Hezbollah or Hamas. The government under Morsi has been accused of conspiring to commit acts of terrorism with Hamas, Hezbollah and Iran's Revolutionary Guard. Saturday's mass death sentence has been referred to Egypt's Grand Mufti, who is due to rule on it by June the 2nd. The court verdict on Saturday has been handed down a week after former ruler Hosni Mubarak is sentenced but then freed because he's already served time. In just over a few days, Egyptians have seen one president, whom they voted in and then helped depose, sentenced to death. Another, who was imposed upon them, is now a free man. Rob Matheson, Al Jazeera.